Right friends, welcome back to questions and answers for 21st week. Ms. J. Jayalalitha sworn in as the Chief Minister of Tamil Nadu for the sixth time. And uh, please don't forget, AIDMK has won 134 out of 232 seats where elections were held. Tamil Nadu has got a total of 234 seats, but elections were postponed in two assembly constituencies of uh, Tanjavur and Aravakuruchi. And uh, DMK Front has got 98 seats. And Jailalitha sworn in for the sixth time and this is her second consecutive term and she is the second female chief minister after Janaki Ramachandran in Tamil Nadu. Look into the second question. Recently our defense minister visited Oman. You may ask where is Oman? Please look into this slide. The location of Oman you can identify here and in this connection, four MOUs or agreements were signed. These pertain to defense cooperation, marine crime prevention at sea, maritime issues and protocol on flight safety information exchange. Look into the next one. United States of America recently lifted the embargo on sale of lethal weapons to Vietnam during the tenure of Barack Obama. We have seen normalization of relations with uh, Cuba. Then the second country is Iran, famous uh, Iran nuclear agreement, all of you are well aware. And the third country where normalization of relations are tried by Barack Obama is uh, Vietnam. So the restriction on selling the lethal weapons to Vietnam was recently lifted and the United States of America President Barack Obama visited Vietnam recently. You may ask where is Vietnam? Please look into this slide. Vietnam is the country adjacent to South China Sea and please don't forget China is locked in dispute with Vietnam also. Probably that may be one of the reasons why United States of America wants to do friendship with Vietnam. And the United States arms embargo on Vietnam has been in force since 1984 over the human rights issue. Of course, now it became a necessity for United States of America to maintain strategic relations with Asia Pacific countries so as to control the rise of China. Right? And uh, the territorial disputes China has with Vietnam may be the possible reason to mend fences with Vietnam by United States of America. Look into the next one. India, Iran and Afghanistan signed a historic land transit agreement which facilitates the establishment of a trilateral transport and transit corridor. And all of you are familiar with Gwadar port. Gwadar port and this Chabahar port are situated in the near vicinity. The distance between these two ports is not more than 100 kilometers. This Gwadar port is going to be developed by China and Chabahar is going to be developed by India and India will invest up to 500 million dollars to develop Chabahar, a strategic port in Iran. And at the same time, India will get the sea land access route to Afghanistan bypassing Pakistan. So far, the biggest problem to have relations with Central Asia as well as Afghanistan is Pakistan in between. Now with the development of Chabahar port, India can get sea land access to energy rich Central Asia. Look into the next one. Odisha governor promulgated ordinance to ensure use of Vodia in all the government systems in the state. Governor can promulgate ordinance under article 213 of the constitution. As per the constitution, governor can resort to issuing of ordinance under article 213 of the constitution when assembly is not in session. And at the same time, please don't forget Article 345 confers powers to the state to adopt one or more languages as the official languages. So these things please don't forget. Look into the next one, a Greek archaeologist stated that he had unearthed the tomb of a philosopher Aristotle. And recently we celebrated 2400th birth anniversary of Aristotle. Right, Aristotle is the famous Greek philosopher, please don't forget. 
SBI, the country's largest lender, reported a 66% decline in net profit to Rs. 1264 crore for the quarter ended March 31, 2016 due to higher provisioning for bad loans. Here, I would like to tell you one important point. When the loans turn bad, then banks have to keep a certain amount from their profits as provisioning. That means they have to take out a certain money from their profits and they have to keep it aside which is known as the provisioning and as a lot of amount is required to be kept aside as provisioning by State Bank of India, its profits plummeted in the fourth quarter of 2015-16. And at the same time, the gross non-performing assets as on 31st March touched a record high of 6.5% for State Bank of India. Right? So, banks profits are reducing due to higher provisions on account of increased non-performing assets. Trial run of Talgo train was completed recently between Bareilly and Moradabad. Please look into this slide. This is Talgo train and government wants to introduce semi-high speed trains up to a speed of around 200 km per hour. At present, the maximum speed between Nizamuddin and Agra is 160 km per hour. That is the maximum speed of Indian Railways at present. And now government wants to introduce semi-high speed trains of speeds up to 200 km per hour. And in this connection, government recently conducted trial run between Bareilly and Moradabad in Uttar Pradesh and Talgo belongs to Spain. And these are lightweight coaches and they will fit into the government scheme of introduction of semi-high speed trains. Look into the next one, Centre created long-term irrigation fund. All of you are well aware, rupees 20,000 crore long term irrigation fund was announced in the budget and central government created it. The basic purpose is to complete 89 long term and short term irrigation projects pending for over several years. And this long term irrigation fund is maintained by NABAD. NABAD is a national bank for agriculture and rural development. And when you talk about the NABAD, please don't forget certain things. One is NABAD is behind Kisan credit card. Then the second important point is Green Climate Fund or GCF will be maintained by NABAD in our country. And third important point is RIDF, Rural Infrastructure Development Fund is maintained by NABAD. These things please don't forget when you look at NABAD, which is the supervisory body for regional rural banks as well as the cooperative banks in our country. Look into the next one. On the eve of completion of two years of NDA government, Vikas Parv Maha Rally was held in Shaharanpur in Uttar Pradesh. The Prime Minister participated in this Vikas Parv Maha Rally which was held in Shaharanpur. Summit of Advanced Nations G7 was recently held at Iseshima, this is in Japan and G7 called for sending a strong message to China with regard to its territorial disputes with Japan and Southeast Asian countries. China is locked in territorial conflicts with several Southeast Asian countries and G7 called for sending a strong message to China. Incidentally, you may ask what are the G7 countries? The G7 countries are United States and Canada in North America and France, Germany, Italy, United Kingdom, four European countries. In addition to that, Asian country is Japan. So, these seven countries are a group of seven highly industrialized countries in the world. And its summit was recently held in Iseshima in Japan. Bayer AG plans to acquire a Monsanto company for $62 billion. All of you are familiar with the Monsanto Seeds. Its headquarters is St. Louis, Missouri in the United States. And at the same time, Bayer AG is the Drugs and Crop Chemicals Group of Germany. 
So, Bayer intends to purchase Monsanto for $62 billion and the deal is yet to be concluded. And if someone asks about Monsanto, that is the United States of America based company. And if someone asks about Bayer, it is a Germany based company. These things please do not forget. World Bank signed an agreement with the Indian government for a loan of 100 million dollars for the Karnataka urban water supply modernization project. And recently, Indian government and World Bank signed an agreement. So, 100 million dollars will be given by World Bank for developing Karnataka urban water supply modernization project. Right friends, look at the next one, Reserve Bank of India mandated that the banks are required to completely do away with ATMs accepting cards with the magnetic stripes. There are two types primarily in ATM cards. One card is known as magnetic stripe card. In magnetic stripe card, please look into this slide. These are examples of magnetic stripe cards. In magnetic stripe cards, information can easily be copied which is known as the skimming and duplication can be created that is the cloning. So, skimming or cloning is possible with the magnetic stripe cards and with the skimming and the cloning people can siphon off money from the bank accounts. And to ensure more security features, the cards meant for with more security features are EMV cards. EMV cards are basically Europe MasterCard and Visa. Here, EMV chip will be there. This EMV cards store data with integrated circuits. Hence, they cannot be copied. So, Reserve Bank of India stated that by September 30, 2017, all the existing magnetic stripe cards should be replaced with EMV cards. And at the same time, RBI also instructed from now onwards, all the new ATMs should be enabled for EMV cards. So, if someone talks about the magnetic stripe cards, they are basically liable for duplication, liable for copying the information by somebody who want to do some mischief. So, skimming and cloning is possible with magnetic stripe cards, whereas EMV cards are more secure. EMV means Europe, MasterCard and Visa. Which of the following trees felt responsible for escalation of fires in forest areas of Uttarakhand? We deliberated in detail about the chir pine trees. And the answer here is Chirpine. This Chirpine was brought into India by the British for their commercial interests. And subsequently, these are promoted by successive state governments. Chirpine is excellent source of wood as well as charcoal. And the disadvantage of Chirpines is Chirpines leave no space for wild animals to roam. And this uh, chir pine combs also burn easily. And another disadvantage is pine trees uh, soaks up moisture from the ground. And these are the key contributors for high levels of acidity in the soil. So, these are the disadvantages of uh, chir pine trees. So, broadleaf forests are required so as to maintain ecological biodiversity. Look into the next one. Around 85 road kills occurred in the past six months in Chinnar Wildlife Sanctuary. That means in the road accidents passing through this wildlife sanctuary during the past six months, 85 wild animals were killed. And this Chinnar Wildlife Sanctuary is situated in Kerala. It is in Idukki district of Kerala, established in 1984. And it is one of the 12 wildlife sanctuaries among the protected areas of Kerala. Right friends, look at the next one. The budget allotment for Mahatma Gandhi Narega as per 2016-17 budget is rupees 38,500 crores of rupees. And certain budget allocations, please do not forget, Mahatma Gandhi Narega budget allocation for 2016-17 is rupees 38,500 crores. If you look at Pradhan Mantri Gram Sadak Yojana, 19,000 crores of rupees. Swachh Bharat Mission, 9,000 crores of rupees. Then another important is 
LPG for below poverty line families, 2000 crores of rupees is allotted. Then Deen Dayal Upachai Gram Jyoti Yojana, rupees 3000 crores. Then Pradhan Mantri Kaushal Vikas Yojana for skill development, the allotment is rupees 1700 crores. And these things, please don't forget. ISRO decided to test air breathing propulsion system. Instead of liquefied oxygen, it uses atmospheric oxygen up to a height of 50 kilometers from the Earth's surface. From Earth's surface up to a height of 50 kilometers, this engines will take atmospheric oxygen. Instead of carrying liquefied oxygen, they take oxygen from atmosphere so that the lift of mass of the vehicle will be reduced as the fuel required to be carried is less the lift of mass will be reduced and at the same time it will increase energy efficiency of the rocket not only that it also makes rockets cost effective now isro decided to test air breathing propulsion system right friends the union cabinet gave its approval for introduction of two bills in the parliament for certain amendments to the constitution scheduled tribes order 1950 and here the question is name the article in the constitution which deals with inclusion or exclusion of various communities as scheduled tribes the article we are talking about is 342 of the constitution so, Article 342 of the Constitution facilitates inclusion and removal of various communities eligible for scheduled tribes as per Constitution Scheduled Tribes Order 1950. Union Cabinet gave its approval to amend the IITs Act of 1961 for incorporation of six new IITs. And it also gave approval to convert Indian School of Mines, Dhanbad into NIIT. So, from now onwards, Indian School of Mines, Dhanbad will become NIIT. And Indian School of Mines, Dhanbad is in Jharkhand state. Please don't forget. Name the state government which launched 20 Nirbhaya buses with multiple IT enabled safety measures. The state we are talking about is Rajasthan. Rajasthan government recently launched 20 Nirbhaya buses and these are fitted with advanced IT enabled safety measures such as vehicle tracking system, panic buttons on every seat and CCTV. Look into the next one. Union government approved for setting up of a National Investment and Manufacturing Zone or NIMZ in Kalinganagar. The state we are talking about is Odisha. Under National Manufacturing Policy, Union Government in 2014 has announced to set up 16 NIM jets to boost manufacturing sector. And please don't forget, the National Manufacturing Policy aims to enhance the share of manufacturing sector in GDP to 25% and also to create 100 million employment opportunities by the year 2025. That means within a decade, the share of manufacturing in the country's GDP has to go up to 25%. At present, the share of manufacturing in the country's GDP is just around 16%. And as per the government's policy, it will create new opportunities to 100 million people in the country. Famous literary critic R.G. Jadav passed away recently and his works are basically in Marathi. He has written more than 45 books and he also presided over Marathi Sahitya Sammelan held in Aurangabad. Last one, Pakke Tiger Reserve has won the 2016 India Biodiversity Award. The state we are talking about is Arunachal Pradesh. This Pakke Tiger Reserve got the award in the category of conservation of threatened species and this is for the Hornbill Nest Adoption Program. Please look into this slide. These are hornbills and this award was given for Hornbill Nest Adoption Program and it carries a cash prize of rupees 1 lakh and this award was instituted by United Nations Development Program in association with 
Ministry of Environment, Forest and Climate Change. Right friends, if someone talks about Pakke Tiger Reserve, it is in Arunachal Pradesh. Please don't forget. Right friends, let us conclude the questions and answers for 21st week. Have a nice day. Thank you.